The next attraction we visited is the Basilica of St. Michael in Monsi. The Basilica is the cultural and spiritual heart of the Monsi region. It was originally built during the 8th century and served as the church of the now abandoned Benedictine Monastery. The region of the Monsi land was formerly part of Bavaria. In 748, Monsi Abbey was founded by Odilo, Duke of Bavaria. According to records, the first monks came from Monte Cassino in Italy. In 788, after the fall of the Duke Tassilio III, Monsi became an imperial abbey and over the centuries acquired extensive property. In 1142, Monsi regained its independence under Abbot Conrad II, otherwise Blessed Conrad of Monsi. Formerly a monk of Siegburg Abbey, had been an abbot at Monsi since 1127 and was extremely successful in defending and regaining the rights and possessions of the monastery to the extent that in 1145 at the nearby Oberwang he was murdered by a group of nobles who wished to repossess the land. He was venerated as a martyr and declared blessed. In fact, the most famous resident of this relic-filled altarpiece of the basilica is the skeleton of Abbot Conrad II. His jewel-encrusted skeleton now sits with a golden halo atop of the altar. The lavish ornate seven-part altar is designed as a giant reliquary holding entire skeletons. Conrad is not alone in the gilded altar. And tomb beneath him are the remains of four so called catacomb saints lying in relaxed poses upon red satin pillows in their little triangular chambers. In 1506, the possession of the Monsi land passed from Bavaria to Austria. In 1514, Abbot Wolfgang Haberl established the Abbey Grammar School. With its two towers stretched into the sky, this current late Baroque church was constructed in the 15th century under the direction of Abbot Benedict Eck and is the second biggest church in Upper Austria. In addition to the massive main altar, there are also a series of smaller altars lining the chapel walls. While these do not hold such grim relics, but they are decorated with lovely paintings. The basilica's interior features stunning classic art, sculptures, and artifacts that adds to the majesty and beauty of this historic structure. The small open plaza lined with groomed bushes and trees marks the front entrance of the basilica. After a period of decline during the Reformation and the consequent disturbances, the abbey entered the new period of prosperity under Abbot Bernard Ligi, and especially in connection with the celebration of the thousandth anniversary of the foundation, there was an extensive rebuilding of the church and the monastic premises. In 1791, the abbey was dissolved by Emperor Leopold II. During the Napoleonic period, the Monsi land reverted to Bavaria for a few years. During that time, in 1810, the Bavarian Field Marshal, Prince Karl Philipp von Vriede, acquired the abandoned monastery and used it as a castle. Vriede remained the owner even after the return of the territory to Austria and significantly developed the locality. In 1905, on the death of Princess Ignacia von Vriede, Monsi passed to the Counts Almeida, whose descendants sold it in 1985. The Basilica reached international fame because the wedding scene in the movie Sound of Music was filmed inside. This is the reason why more than 200,000 people are visiting the church every year, and therefore it is one of the most photographed churches all over the world. A 
Another fun trivia during the filming of the movie, the metal gates were added for the film and the skeleton of Blessed Conrad was replaced by another statue. Pope John Paul II upgraded the church to a basilica in 2005. In 2009, the church was reopened after a huge restoration which ended in the title Austria's Monument of the Year. So that's it for the Monsi Basilica or St. Michael's Basilica. Until next time, don't forget to hit like, share, and subscribe. Bye!